300 bucks damn that's crazy i that, let me say this right amanda amanda bay i will take you up on the offer on my next stream 100 percent. if you're down i will make a drop exactly in that kind of trap future base um not even because i need the money or want the money i just i love making that style of music and i'll do it for you i mean if you're gonna donate that much 100 percent, i'll do it but um i i got you if you want to do that that uh next stream i'm down if, if everybody's also down for that kind of want to have the community down with it all right so now we're all set let me go back make sure everybody's here yep all right this is my peoples ready for some blink 182 vibes so i did unfortunately and i tried to figure this out guys i got my whole pc set up and the one thing i couldn't get working correctly is my latency for guitar and vocals so i ended up recording this guitar um yesterday ahead of time because i just couldn't figure out how to do it on stream at the same time without having latency and it was just going to mess me up so i was like all right honestly i'm just going to do the guitar riff and then we'll make the track um so yeah we'll break this down very first thing we'll do is how i did the guitar and then we'll start making like the electronic part like the build up and we'll add drums and stuff Nitty, what kind of analog gear you mess with? None. Literally, um, I don't use any analog gear at all. That's not because I choose to. I just don't have any. And it's kind of a, uh, a, a black hole of money pit. So, like, if you can get away with it. The only analog gear I use is my actual electric guitar. And um, that's about it. So... I guess my acoustic guitar, that's not really gear. It's just real instruments. But yes, I, I go through an Apollo Twin, and um, I'll show you guys how, how I get this sound. So let's start off. The first thing I made was this, this lead, this little emo Blink-182 riff. So it's just one full four bar, yeah, four bar loop. And um, the edits, if you subscribe, in my first pack i'll give it to you guys um that's a whole thing i'm sure someone can explain it that's already had those and um yeah i think i think it would be uh what's up what's up everybody hopping in so yeah i think if you subscribe you can do the normal thing where you email me and um i will give you guys that that first initial pack that i made which includes up to i think like 30 edits if you do um the uh the highest tier tier three but tier one tier two tier three each just progressively gets you more edits more samples and stuff like that and like i said volume two of the sample pack is coming out i don't really know about the um how many edits i have just to be honest because I, I gave away so many um but i'm going to give away more sam like crazy amount of samples but edits will also be in there um i just i don't think there's gonna be that many so it might be like hopefully up to like 10 that's that's i'm gonna have to like actually make a few for that but um yeah and yeah, Amanda, I got you. We're we're gonna we're gonna do that for you. I'm gonna make something like that. And wait, where'd you say you're from? Sweden. Damn, I, I was just I want to go to Sweden so bad. And ironically, there's a lot of good song. I don't know if you guys know this. There's a lot of good songwriters in Sweden. Like, I think a lot of Britney Spears music and uh, even even like Katy Perry's music. A lot of Swedish um, songwriters and producers, just in general. A lot of European people write pop music in English. Random random fact hey thank you for the sub so yeah so let's get started i think is there any any questions before i i go off on this this full uh you know music making vibe i i know we had a lot to talk about it's been been a while so i just want to make sure everybody's chilling no more questions yeah max martin is definitely one of the big ones uh-huh for sure max martin but even people that were in like metal bands ironically like it, it's funny bro like they, they they make like super heavy death metal and then they'll write pop on the side oh the savage remix was good i just never released it i have it I, uh i don't remember did we finish that one it was sounding pretty sick um we, sh we should go back to that hey what's up jupe let me turn the ac this this is insane one second
Wow. Oh, that was crazy. It was getting toasty in here. Got the stream on. Let's do it. Make some noise for Jupe out here. One of the craziest producers I know. And one of the youngest, too. Actually, you're probably old now. Old ass. Just kidding. Um, all right. So I'm jumping in, guys. If you got questions, I, I'll try to answer them while we're working. But the first thing I want to go over um, is my guitar leads. So this is a cool thing about guitar leads. You could put almost anything in here. Let's try this. This is completely random. And I like doing this. But say I had like... This is like, I made, I make random samples like this and what I love about making guitar tones is I can literally pull them in and distort random stuff like vocals or, or things like that. So I just always, it's pretty sick. I don't know. That's just something to think about. Oh, Jupiter 20. Damn. I thought you were older now. I remember when you, when you were like insane, you were like 16. I was like, what? This kid's insane. Um, so yeah, my favorite plugin for guitars is a pretty obvious one, Guitar Rig. Very simple. I, I can't, I, you know what I hate about Guitar Rig? It doesn't sit, oh, Billy Single Grand, Grange. Billy Single Grange, right there. That's That's the preset I've used for it. This is a sick plug I'm about to put you all on. My friend showed me this. Um, my friend Al showed me this. It's by Spec Ops. And it's like this really weird granular sounding freezing type of craziness. And um, I, I'm not using it super insane. It's kind of just adding a little bit of grit. Like grit. Ish. I don't even mean that because my name I literally mean like that, you know, kind of distorted vibe And then the cool thing about that lead is I found this button right here. So if you freeze stuff it sounds really dope This button right here And you heard that like ending right there so that ending of freezing frozenness I actually turned into this And um, it's just like an overtone. I have one note going duh, the whole time. And to me, it creates this really cool like intro part. And then I also added this crackle. So if you guys want crackle, another another uh, put on for, for you guys right here. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> can't take more plugins dude I, I just got this pc set up and i'm so much happier just literally like making it from fresh start not my old crappy plugins like i'm only getting stuff that i love which i'll go over some more we can actually dive into some some of the ones i just got from my pc um recently but this is a great one i think i've showed you guys this before but it's been a while so i will show you again uh where my abbey road at this is an insane so a lot of lo-fi producers use crackle a lot of like kind of chill stuff i thought it would sound good in this emo rock setting so what you do you put it through i think dj is my favorite one crackle and we'll start to hear noise and you can even make it sound crazy by changing the pitch So that's how people get those like crazy lo-fi chords where it's like, I don't know, like a Travis Scott thing where it feels trippy. This is a great plugin for that because it'll literally completely change your, your um, very slowly, not completely change, subtly change the pitch. And uh, you can back off on that. But basically how I do that, I like getting it separate. So what I would do is I'd freeze it. What's what's a VOD? You mean like a video? Like or is that something? Yeah, detune. Exactly, that's the word. Um I can't really figure out Let's see, let's see. Oh yeah, that's how I did. I, I took it at the end right here, this part. As you can see. And I just turned it up a little. That's the crackling by itself. 
and I like having the crackle um oh archive it yeah yeah dude I feel like they disappear like I leave them on my my um twitch and they like twitch completely like deletes them after three months and I have no idea how to save them like I, I guess I'll have to record them uh but I, I guess I'll start doing that um I got you I got you guys video on demand you know it's another insane fun fact <laughs> my my blood uncle my mom's brother literally created on demand like video on demand he sold he's one of like the couple people to sell that um idea that technology to tivo at the time tivo was the one that first started sold it to comcast and them and my uncle actually that was his first like big business deal is he uh he sold that idea and that technology isn't that crazy like my uncle made video on demand it's super random so yeah that's the crackle my bad tangent you know me take that off yeah jupe i definitely play games bro i'm playing tomorrow i definitely do i i play uh, i'm playing actually i'm i started streaming again because even tomorrow i'm gonna start streaming uh call of duty i'm not that great at call of duty i'm just uh i'm playing with my homies who are good so uh it's gonna be lit they're they're really good yeah he definitely my uncle's a very good businessman and his birthday is two days apart from me may 8th i'm may 10th so hopefully i make as much money as him <laughs> uh what's the next uh part so then i started getting into the whole like big chorusy part oh this is dope the harmonics hey thank you guys yeah may gang all day so this is done by playing a guitar your finger basically has to be a little bit off the string on the right spot and instead of fully pushing down the string you kind of let off of it and it creates this what's called a harmonic and uh, that's what gives you these like super high pitch like these aren't pitched at all i'll show you like not pitched at all and then when you put them through a uh, guitar rig and reverb they sound crazy um the next thing i did that's like the lead um not lead that's like the rhythm guitar and then i have another rhythm guitar kind of complement each other and then i have an actual kind of leadish thing So I thought that sounded dope. And then I actually leave in this whole note thing. I thought it sounded good for like the um the rhythm. If you like ambient stuff, a great presets on guitar rig, I think it's called spinning in space under the ambient style. Yeah, a hundred percent. You're absolutely right. You can make some trippy stuff, which is super fun. Um so here's another thing I picked up. Oof, it was a little expensive. Um, I, I can't remember how much this was, but dude, Trillion is is really nice. I love it. I don't know how to explain. Like if you know this type of music and you hear a bass line, it always sounds like this, where it's a lot more grimy sounding it's not this nice smooth jazz bass it has this like top end like i found that this little middle area around um you know 1k sounds really good for the bass so let's see what preset it was on trillion this this thing's great man i f i finally bought it and i and i 100 percent recommend this let's see let's see let's see where we at main how do i get back to like oh yeah that's right so i went into electric fingered i think damn i don't even remember which one it was dude bass electric which one is this bro why isn't it 
Clean fender full range. There we go. I'm an idiot. It was already there. <laughs> I don't know how to describe it. Like, there's just that bass sound of this style of music, and I finally found it in Trillion. So, all together. It just gives that undertone, I guess. Um, yeah, the guitar loops is all me. That I, again, like I have my guitar right here. Um, I'll show it to you guys. I'm proud. Of, I'm proud of this guitar. Oh. So I, I played all all this stuff. It sucks because I tried. I tried to be able to do this live, but um what happened was the latency was so bad I couldn't even record and stream at the same time um, something like that that's basically what the what the riff was and then a bunch of like power chord Stuff like that. Um, again, I, I gotta figure out how to do this live because that'll be fun to do these do this shit super super live. But I couldn't do it in time, and there was like all this crazy like I have to download virtual stuff to like I don't know. I really don't know if the latency is ever gonna be solved, so that's kind of sad. But we'll see. Um, what is next? Yeah, this is a dude. Trillions insane. It's not a real bass. It's, this is the only thing that's MIDI. Mm. So, 100% recommend it. Pretty, I, I was mind blown. I was like, damn, together, it, it sounds nuts. So yeah, let's move on. Oh, actually, I have this super dope part too, where I did um, like the chugging. So that I don't know if I really want to make that section today because I want to make like a, a drop and and we'll see how many parts of the actual rock thing that I do. But I think I'm going to do this uh, drums first and then do a drop a build and then a drop because so, I, I don't know how much time I'll have. It'll take like six hours to do all that. So here are some drums that I have from another kind of rock track that I've done. It's not the right style. I just copied them and we're going to redo every single one like the, the rhythm of them let's see yep so i got everything kind of set up i will share the group for the first time i don't know if you guys <laughs> remember <laughs> i never have anything in my groups and for the first time i'm actually using a little bit of ott on a group of my drums i never do this it just sounded good Yeah, this is going to turn into some like melodic dubstep 174-ish half drum step. I don't know. Something. So this is not the correct all cashmere. Yo, these cashmere samples, if you do them right, just proof, man. I still use them because the acoustic ones are so good as long as you mix them down correctly. So that's the key right here. And I will show you all the levels. But first, let's make... I feel like a double type. And then half time later. So. Uh, we don't need any of this for now. I think the intro should just be guitar. Yeah, it is the new Vengeance. Vengeance is still good. I use Vengeance for like house and stuff still. So I'm going to leave all this open. No drums. Oh, you know what we could add actually is like a cool ride. All right, this. Let's let's go to acoustic ride. Let's try this out. This is the only thing I want. Let's add one of these. Oh man, 
dun dun. I think I want the the fill to be exactly with this rhythm, like dun 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 dun. dun. I always have to sing it. Is this going on dubstep gutter? That's such a dope YouTube channel. Let's make this fill. Let's see. Don't need any hats. We just need a dun dun. Sorry, I'm a little slower on my PC. I have been practicing. So at the beginning, if you guys saw, I couldn't even stream how slow I was earlier on my damn PC. I was like, oof. I was slow, like switching from Mac, but now I'm, I'm learning to love it. But wow, man, I was slow. Uh, let's see. I don't need this. Let's see, where's the low tom? So we're gonna make this doo -doo. Yep, just like that. And I will show you the kick and stuff because I have a separate one for the low that's way cleaner. And the high part. So let's see if that sounds. Let's flam it. Sometimes this works. Mm, maybe after. This is making it super realistic is when you make your... Uh... A little too far. Might not even need it to be... These are the same snare, it's pointless. We're not doing that. So the other thing about this, uh, in music, this starts on the upbeat. Yeah, we're back, we're back. <laughs> I miss I miss you guys too. Trust me, I'm, I'm excited. So here's a cool thing about this. Yeah, man, Florida is amazing. Don't even, don't front about that. That's just the truth. Dun, 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 dun. So this is on the upbeat. Check this out. Normally you would start on one, two, three, four, one, right? So this one starts on four, one, two, three, four. Pretty crazy. Right here. Dun, dun, dun. There we go. We're gonna move all these hats and man, it takes a lot to make a drum set sound real. This is all the layers of my cymbals. Cymbals is like the main, 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 main thing. Um, when you get your cymbal sounding right and, and you have a nice kick and snare sample, it's, it's really gonna sound good. There we go. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, it's a lot about placement too. I play real drums, so like I can hear it in my head. But like, oh, let's do a reverse snare. Where's my reverse snare at? Boy, don't I have one reverse snare? Does it exist? Oh, whatever, I deleted it. Whatever, we'll make a new one. So this is gonna be super emo rock. Almost metal actually, this is very metal. All these like gent breakdowns with like rev huge reverse snares. <laughs> Let's try this out. It's probably gonna sound dope. So here we go. Just this fill. There it is. Dun, 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 dun. Dope. So we got the fill sounding good. Let's go with my uh, drum beat first, the kick and snare. Let's 
Let's see. We gotta delete all this, all this stuff. Um, we'll make ghost notes later. Was that the crash? We're good on you. What is all this stuff? Yep, we don't need you yet. What hat is this? Ooh, that's later. That'll be in the verse. Sorry, I kind of already hear it in my head what to do. So we're gonna have like a quarter note going with the symbols. Actually, the symbols be. Get this quick snare like this. There we go. So now it's here where we should put the, the kick drum. You better, oh, oh man. <laughs> Acre Media about a gift, let's go. How many sample packs am I gonna have to send you, bro? Relax. So let's see. Dun -dun. I want like a quick one. Dun -dun. Probably this fast right there. There we go. So here's here's a super important part. We're we're gonna make this um we're gonna make this kick the second one lower. Kind of make it like a real drummer because normally the first one dun 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 the sec the first one's a lot heavier and um, firmer than the second kick. So it's dun 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 dun, kind of like a heartbeat. So let's try that. So we're gonna make this sound like an actual foot is playing it. There we go. Sounds a lot better. Oh, and let's use that short one right here. Not as, not as insane. Yeah, so now I'll show you the kicks, my bad. Had to get that rhythm. So my first kick, top kick right here. I'm taking out all the low end. Um, you can see it. And then this. It's just really nice poppy um, bassy low and I have it boosted. And that nice subby chest spot. Oops. And um, when you put them together, they sound super heavy. The only way I'm making my transients is literal volume fade. So you can hear. Here, here's the key to this real quick. The key to this layering is you're making um, the top one not have low end, but you still want a little bit of, of uh, middle, the middle um, frequencies. If I just went like this, it would sound too thin. There's still a little bit of um, width, I guess, and, and low, a tiny bit of, not low end, but like middle, that adds some substance. You know what I mean? Now I have that full, full sounding punch. And yes, my drum bus really isn't even a bus. It's just a OTT and an EQ. I really never do this, um, but it did sound good for acoustic drums. I won't probably do this 
on the um Oh, my bad. Yo, if we sub for three months, do we get the project still? Yeah, 100%. Um, I will give you projects. Uh, I, I don't know. Probably ones from the streams. That might be the best idea from now on. Uh, stuff that I make on stream, I'll probably give you those projects inside of the uh, the packs, sub subscription packs. Okay, dope. And I think I'm gonna leave these. So what I did for these, this is from another project, but they actually sound great. So I'm not gonna change them. But notice how I have. I got rides going. Put those to the right a little bit. Tambourine, ooh, the tambourine always sounds good. Oh, I gotta make that. Faster to go, chicka to go, chicka. Make the uh, snare one coming. Oh, why does that sound so bad? You're a little bit off beat. There we go. Now we have that loop. And I'm gonna, I'm not even gonna, I don't need all that. Yeah, I mean, so the thing about using my music is I, I just have to get permission from my label, but anything I've self-released, you absolutely can. But if you see it being a part of a label, you can try. I just, I I still haven't um, figured, I'm, I'm in the process of doing that with my lawyers. But anything that's self-released and not like on spinning records or something like that, feel free to use. There we go, that sounds better. So now we got tambourine loop going. And yeah, shaker loop. I didn't need that. Hi hat, didn't need you. Ride, dope. So, notice the most important part of this drum progression is the symbols, in my opinion. That's what I did the most crazy shit with, with all these. I think that's what makes this sound the most realistic, so. Another thing I wanna feel is a middle part. Do you have a particular drum you like to start with when you're making a drum pattern? No, not at all, almost never. My main part about drums is I, I make it according to what I'm making. So right now we're in the part of this emo rock kind of like pop punk. So I'm using these drums to do this pattern. I'm not even gonna bother using any other types of drums. I just know exactly what I want. So that's how I do it. If, if you're like, oh, I'm making trap, use trap drums. I just, unless you wanna experiment and um, that's nothing wrong with that. It's just, I already know I kind of want this to sound like some OG like pop punk stuff. Hmm. You know what it's missing is it's not enough open the open ch 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 ch. I need that bigger open hi hat. It's not it's not there yet. What's this guy doing? Yeah, that's nice. Let's make this one the main, main dude. Oh, I already did that with this. Yep, I don't need you. I don't need you to do that. No, I mean like, do you start with a hi-hat pattern and then throw in the snare and kick or do you use it? Or is it different every time? Oh, um. How do you get the 808 to pop like and breathe out? Oh, I can show you that. That's just gonna be another another uh, session. But um, I can I can go over all that stuff. The drum pattern though, bro. Um, boosty. Uh, probably kick and snare. Notice how like the first thing I did was this. To me, this I needed the. I 
I feel like that's what I needed to get the hi hats and stuff. So I usually kick and snare, and then it kind of makes me think of it uh, the easiest way, I think. Let's put that right too. Oh yeah, that sounds way better. To me, that sounds way better because now I have the uh, the quarter notes going sounds way better to me. It, before it was just it was too like half time, and now I feel like it has a bit more movement. So now let's one next thing before we move on. Let's place our crash symbols, and I'm gonna also add something. What is all this extra little garbage here? Clean up your sessions, my friends. Clean them up. Don't leave stuff. Look, I'm only using what I'm using. You don't need any extra tracks laying around. Name that shit. Don't be lazy. Color it if you want. I mean, I'm a, I'm a stickler. It's just, I don't know why. I hate when people send me garbage sessions. It's just hard to work. I, I can't focus on it. Massive pro tip. Low extender audio effect on 808s. Agreed. What is that? Secret gold. Hmm. Someone, what is that? Is that a plugin? I'm, I'm reading the chat to learn too. Shit, send it to me. Um, I'd say the biggest thing for 808, if I if I can show you in five seconds, is separating. I'll go over. It. It'll take me not even two seconds to do this. Here's the biggest thing: separate your kick. and your 808 and sidechain them. I feel like I show you guys this all the time. I guess the other main thing is finding a good um, sample. God damn. <laughs> that one 808 was so stupid. This is my key. I tell everybody this a lot of people do this I, I'm not the only one I just think right here is is my favorite tip and then a, a super easy EQ on it yeah that's my main tip right there and uh, there's like a little bit of top end on this. That might not be the best kick I could have used for this, to be honest. This is the easiest way to do it. I think that's the fastest way, literally. And then the last, last easy one. I show you guys this all the time. Make a separate one for your distortion. And do the EQ the opposite way. Super easy overdrive and erosion. This is the tangents you get when you watch my streams. Can't help it. Now you have separate control over. That easy. I just need a boom. Hey. And then if you. Another fun trick. This is super dumb, but I do this all the time. You like completely overly do the 808 sub. Just do this on purpose. And then what I would do right here is export, literally export this. Um, 
whatever the hell that that was right now you have that stupidly right this is a great trick for real i know it looks stupid but watch this random tangent we'll get right back where's where's that file at desktop where are you at sad flick i called it sad flick Ooh, look at that monster bro just hold up <laughs> it was um it was warped that's kind of cool this is hilarious all right no i would not do that though watch this what i would do though is take out all the low end and now you have that craziness that you get without even a, you, look i didn't even use the distortion plugin look i didn't even use a single distortion plugin this is all i did and it sounds it's like a different just you can use whichever one or you can even layer them I don't know. That's kind of a cool way to do that. <laughs> uh, it's pretty fire. I might save that. I'm just going to export it. Maybe without it. Yeah, I'll export it. It's too good. I just made a random way to wait for no reason. Yummy distorted 808. Boom. Now we got one. All right. Tangent over. I hope you learned something. <laughs> I'll probably put that in the sample pack, to be honest. Sounds so fire. All right. What was I doing before this? Oh, um, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Yeah, it could mid side at, um, I don't, I don't, I really don't find myself mid side editing that much unless it's something that needs some craziness. But what did I want to do here? Oh yeah. I don't even remember. I think it was like, oh yeah, splash symbol. Here we go. This is the last part of this and then we're gonna move on to the EDM part. EDM, whatever, into the whatever part, next part. So here's a great, I think, uh, Here's a great drum technique. So we kind of have this It's kind of like an additional when you're drumming to you can hit like the little splash symbol before and it, it just adds that realness yeah that sounds cool to me so that's just another little um all right so we have this whole section this will be like the emo rock intro like holy shit didn't see this coming let's do we need one more ride one more little ride thing in the beginning this is like taking back sunday right here let's go down i need an acoustic ride where are we at this Gonna do a couple of these right here. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna do vocals for this for sure. How do I get your edit packs? Um, I I have. If you sub, I don't know if you already have. You might have already have all the stuff I have. But um, yeah. Exactly. No, not make damn sure. Uh, you got. 
or maybe it is make damn sure there's like a bunch like that um but yeah if, if you don't have my first sample pack there's like 30 edits in it if you subscribe to tier three you can get all 30 edits and then tier two is like 20 and it's like 10 20 30 something like that but yeah that's the way to get them let's see Here's the key, is the gain. It's very small, it's tiny little symbols, and it gives it this texture to me. It's gonna sound like that. It sounds stupid by itself, but. That's the key. The reason my symbols sound better than yours is because the volume. Negative 40, look at that. That's the main reason. You're gonna be like, why can't I make my symbol? It's the volume. Don't turn your shit up that's not meant to be turned up. Live by those rules right there. Don't turn up your shit that's not meant to be turned up. That's it. Trying to find a cool spot for the first one. Liar, that's it. It's liar, liar. Dun, 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 dun. That's definitely the one. There we go. It's beautiful. That's the one. All right, we're done this. Let's move on. Uh, real quick, what do you say? Thank you for the sub, man. I will definitely email me. So now all you have to do is email me, Nitty Gritty Music. Be like, yo, I, sub I subbed tier three. Send me a screenshot of the, the screen it gives you when you've subscribed. And then, um, yeah, send me that shit. And I will email you the link. Is that a reverse snare in the Philly? It is. S re reverse. Reverse snare right here. It, you know, I did it on purpose that, that I have this like EDM mentality when I when I make um, <laughs> uh, tempos that I make them in EDM tempos. And 174 is obviously drum drum and bass and 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 drum step. So I don't know. I could have done 170, but like I, I don't know. It's just natural thinking about when I mix into a song. I could mix into drum step or or drum and bass eventually with this song. So let's skip all this stuff. I I will work on that another time. And let's make a build. Let's make a very good gap bridging rock with melodics. This is a lot of people struggle with this. I'm excited my next project has a lot of this that I feel confident that I did it the right and the best way where I mix the live stuff with the electronic stuff. And we'll do that again right now. So let us go and make new drum group. This will be the drop drums. Here's the key. We're going to do or I'll just call EDM drums. Make it make it simple for myself. All right, so All right, so now let's do a sub. Also, we need to do synths. We're going to do a sub bass. Sub, which ironically, not, I don't know. This is not ironic. I don't know why I said that. 
for some reason, I love having my sub next to my kick because of many reasons. But the main one is just to, uh, you know, side chain it. What's up? What's up? What's up? So where's my this is I, I will just use my sample pack. It has good stuff for this. Where's my dubstep kicks? That's the best one, I think, for this. You also get this when you subscribe. Uh, you get some nice, cool samples, fun and cool samples. Here's one of the main parts. Existential crisis shit, wow. I hope you're okay, I know we're living in crazy times. Actually, I should have started with that. I really hope everybody's safe. And thank you guys for tuning in. There's so much crazy stuff going on. Uh, it was affecting me too. That's even another reason I took a break. But it makes me happy that everybody's on here. And we're all learning together. But wow. It's nuts right now. I'm praying for everybody. So here's a key. We're going to mix the electronic drums with some of the acoustic drums. That's to me going to nice uh, flow from that stuff into this drop. Another thing I want to do is add like a um, nice impact. That should do it right there. Let's go in and get this impact nice and right. Uh, let's let's EQ this impact. It sounds like there's a little too much both low end and high end. Doesn't need all that. Ew, it was warped. Oh, I gotta change that. I haven't changed all the settings. I don't recommend having warp on at all times. There we go. All right. Oh, yeah. No, there's a new whole new, um, damn, the Jimmy Eat World edit. Yeah, there's a new sample pack, first of all. And the Jimmy Eats World middle edit, I never got to release. I We we actually asked them in their label, and they, they didn't let us. It was kind of sad. So uh, maybe that will be one of them I'll give you guys. Damn, that one's gold. I'll give that, yeah, I'll give that to you guys in the next one. I got you. I got you. That'll, that'll be included. 100%. Um, let's do an exhaust. Sweep down, maybe? Let's see. That could be cool with some, like, distortion on it. And a OTT. Good lord. Way too much low end. And we'll freeze that. Uh, the one good thing about this PC, though, look how everything... I'm not even going to say it, because then something's going to mess up. But I love my new computer. That's all I'm trying to say. Don't hurt me. Don't jinx me. All right. What we are going to keep going is this lead right here to make the song sound cohesive right here. And then I think actually we'll do a 16 bar. Let's give a little more space here. Let's do the full 16 bar build. Let's give it the 
the time it deserves. This is melodic music. We're allowed to do this. Subtractive EQing with EQ8. Yeah, definitely. Oh yeah, I got some of the melodies. All right, so next thing I want to do is the sub. You know what? Let's do let's do something easier. Let's not easier, but let's make the chords. Pluck build. This is kind of gonna help me figure out the the build section easiest, I think. Let's do this. We're gonna take my favorite one, Silent Strobe. Oh yeah, this is the one. So let's make the actual build melody. Or I guess chords first. It's on medium, bro. You too tiny. So now I have the rhythm correct. Dum dum. the one Sun, this is gonna start to feel a little more like tronic, I feel like. Uh, oh, you guys are talking to each other, my bad. I can answer that too, but let's face make I think the easiest thing to do, bro, is mix as much as possible while you're producing. You you can be honest and be like, oh, this this drum or this snare or this synth like obviously is too loud right now, but because I'm creating, I'm not gonna turn it down. And then as soon as I'm done turning it down, or as soon as I'm done creating this um, whole entire MIDI thing, then I'll start turning it down to the right um, actual like volume. It's kind of a mix as you go technique, I guess. You know what might be cool for this? Dun, 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 16th notes. Let's try this out. If you put your arpeggiator to chord. Um, that's all your ear. So the final answer which sucks is just your ear bro like there no one's gonna decide that's half the point at, at, at a certain point you have to do this long enough to start to realize what you like and what actually people think is good there's like a balance between oh i like this and everybody else likes it and once you realize that nice balance you'll start to realize oh this is a good mix down because i like it and it also competes with other people's music in a sense it doesn't have to be exact or better or worse but it, you know it has to be good 
and that's just time man you do this every day for five years and you and you'll hear it you'll just know it's not like a just do this type of thing We're gonna end it right there. So this will be the extent of the build for now. That's sick. All right. So we kind of got this. I'm going to manually EQ it. We are going to put an OTT, but not that heavily. So this gets way too loud. You know what I want to try to is having this lead be high, which I have not done yet. Let's try this out right here. Maybe a delay actually. Let's make it sound more like ethereal. I don't even know how to pronounce that. I really don't know the right word. Eth ethereal. Eth eth ethereal. Ethereal? Wow, I sound like an idiot. It's, a, it's ethereal, isn't it? Don't even shut up. Shut up. Shut up. All right, so let's try this. This doesn't sound amazing. I don't know why. better uh that's my guitar that all this guitar is me i played it earlier um that's all my guitar loops So we got all that. Now let's add like a dope. Ooh, what am I doing? A little drone to build this up with. Oh, also I should probably group these now. EDM synths. Put that up there. So 
this is gonna be like a mid base. I'm not gonna do the sub yet. I'm gonna do like a a drone thingy. Let's see what this sounds like. The serum patch. Uh, where are you at, big boy? All right, all right, all right. How to make a drone in 15 seconds. Ready, set, go. I think my 15 seconds passed, damn. Whatever, I was close. And then we're just going to follow that melody. If you guys are confused about low notes, put them up an octave. It's my, my biggest tip for these. If you're like, oh, I can't tell, it's too low, my ear's not really understanding. Duh. Now I can hear it's the right note. Let's just put these together for a second. Hey, thank you for the sub, bro. Email me a screenshot and I will send you all the edits and um, samples. Maybe a little less just detuned. And I don't know about that filtering. Snare dun, 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 dun. Dun, dun. So right there Here's a cool thing we're gonna do We're gonna EQ on the group right here And uh, start filtering it out Woo! Damn we got a hype train let's go Last thing I'm gonna do is freeze this and then we'll start doing the drums. I think this is all set. Man, I appreciate all the subs, guys. And the follows, everything counts. Commenting, everything everything helps me out, guys. It means a lot. So we'll freeze this stuff because I don't want the little endings. You can be deleted. No need for you. We're gonna do a reverb at the end of here to make it get this feeling of like lifting. We want to feel like we're about to go to heaven and then drop the bass.
Dope. Yeah, Bonnie, Bonnie and Clyde are the homies. Still friends with them. Haven't seen like anybody though since since quarantine. So I traveled once to LA and like hung out with like Party Favor because we had a you know we had a little set there. But um, yeah, it almost is. The the thing is, it's uh, it's 174, so it's like <laughs> the tempo. We're probably gonna have to do like dubstep, uh, uh, drum step. Sorry. So snare build. Ooh, actually, this is gonna sound dope. Check this out. We're gonna add the these bad boys. Ooh, hello. Right there. Do this. See how we have a bill, but it still has some natural elements. That adds a lot to me, just that little. Damn, somebody complete this level one hype train, bro. We're at 94%. Come on. That's the. That would be the vibe on, on the first stream back. Woo! I appreciate you guys. It still makes me, still gets me excited seeing a hype train completed. <laughs> uh, I love Twitch. All right, where are we at? I think I want to use the snare. Yeah, this is going to sound sick. Right here, right here, right here, right here, right here. Doom, 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 doom. So I'm going to... Yep, right there, a little early. And we're gonna still use this acoustic snare for a build, but I think it's gonna sound good. Here's a cool way to compress your snares. So check this out. There's a little bit too much reverb on this bag. This like live, more OTT. <laughs> yeah, man. Love this emo shit. Make more of it. So see, I just volume automated this inside editor and it, it's a little less, maybe that was too much, but it has a bit more attack now instead of this long drawn out. And I already have reverb on it, so. are gonna do as well is only use the bottom part of the kick gonna give us that little chest thump Oh shit, that's dope. That was a complete accent. That's sick. I think I'm gonna do that. That is happy accident right there. That is super dope. It kind of actually sounds more like a rock again. <laughs> Let's 
Also, let's figure out a good EDM -y snare. Uh, right here. Oh god, caps lock, stupid ass. This keyboard is hard for me to use. I love it, it's not a bad keyboard. But Mac and PC keyboards are so different. Let's see. Um, you know who has great samples? My homie D Rock. This guy's dope. You guys should follow D Rock on, on social media. He sent me some cool samples. That's a good one for this build. There we go. So what I want to happen is for these drums to kind of fall out and these ones to come in. Check this out. I'm gonna make the electronic ones come in shortly. And then. Check this out. These ones are gonna fall away slowly. And then I want these ones to come in. Oh shit. Um, I slapped my ass to make my own snares. Is that gay? <laughs> Maybe it is. <laughs> I, I'd I, I don't know, my butt's not that big. I have to slap my girlfriend's ass to make snares. It's the only thing I can do. So yeah, we're gonna make the. I think what we're gonna do, honestly, is just reverb these these snares out, so that the dubstep ones come in hard. Cut it off right there. Appreciate you guys on that train. Yeah, I do that all the time. I'm actually about to do that. The sub, um, we'll get to that in a second. I definitely, I add that in almost every draw, uh, build up for sure. So let's do a um, frequency shifter as well. Get this guy moving. Actually, let's put that frequency shifter on the master EDM drums because I want all these to start to like. Dope, that's the move. All right, so that feels pretty good. Now let's add some sweeps. Um, get this stuff sounding really cool. Ups. Wow, that was so annoying. I'm sorry, I couldn't stop that earlier. Jesus. All 
the email address is um nitty gritty music at gmail.com hey thank you so much um where i belong is going to come out with run i don't know when but we're, we're definitely planning that release Do one more sweep. How about that guy? Eh, too short. You know what we have to do? I'm an idiot. Here we go. We're gonna do the same note at the end. Let's put everything staying the same. Oh shit, wait. The very ending has to be the same note. I'm gonna show you why. I met Gigi in Miami. I live in Fort I lived in Fort Lauderdale and I've lived in Miami too, but that's where my my girlfriend actually in in the same state. There we go. Boom, that last one, there we go. That's it right there. Let's undo this too. That has to be the same note. And now we're going to do the sub similarly. We're going to duplicate that guy. Now we have a little sub hanging out here with us. I think I'm gonna rise up the sub actually it sounds dope I think how it is let's freeze that yeah some melodies let's do the drop first and then I think I'll have those melodies ready to go the 
These are a little too rough, I think. Let's introduce them a little slower, not an echo, you crazy. Maybe a little less. So let's do a little reverb in here. There we go. Oh, you know what I haven't been doing? Because it's my PC. <laughs> um, I don't have a master limiter on here. I never do that. So weird. Let me put mix centric on here. This this is my mastering that I usually work with. Wait, what? I don't have mix centric. What? Hmm. I thought I had it. My waves at. Weird, bro. Huh, I guess I don't have it. Oh well. We'll use Ozone for now. I love reverb on kicks, bro. Shut up. <laughs> Honestly, I think it's very different on a build. I'm not do I won't do that on the drop or anything. Reverb on the master, let's go. I don't give a damn. Bro, you can do anything you want, honestly, and it can sound good, I promise you. You just gotta do it in moderation. Yeah, the reason why I'm doing this is because I want to, I don't like ma mixing and then mastering. It, mess, it messes up your whole mix down. So now that I put on this loud shit, I'm going to have to kind of make sure everything sounds decent, which it, it actually isn't that bad. Um, and I'm probably not going to do it now. But um, yeah, so I guess I love having the master on because I at the end, there's no surprises like, oh, wow, that sounds terrible. The first thing I noticed really was just this sub and drone were too loud. There we go. Dope. So we got the build. Let's do this drop. Ladies and gentlemen, we've made it. How many hours in? Hour and a half. That's pretty good. Normally I get to the drop like, I feel like three hours in. Um... Only thing I want to figure out really fast is how to do this pre-drop. Also, this snare has to have no reverb. You need to relax, my guy. Hmm.
Woo! Big ass kick, my goodness. Oh, we're gonna have to do a new sub. Wait, what? Oh, this will be. Where is serum? Eh, we'll do the sub in a second. First. So here, let's do the um. Probably this was, was oh no nitty gritty. Honestly, I make up so many stories where I'm like, oh my grandmother used to knit, and she used to call me nitty, and but none of those are true. <laughs> You'll never know. Uh, the real story is my friend just came up with it. That was it. Literally, it was just like, oh, what about nitty gritty? I was like, oh, that's sick. Goes with me. That was <laughs> the only reason. I think I made, when I had interviews, when I first started my career, I, I made up like 14 different versions of why I was nitty gritty. Um, oh yeah, I already have this one snare. Build, build drop? What does that mean? Build snare, my guy. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna mix an acoustic snare like this guy with a dubstep snare. And we're gonna try and make this like hybrid kind of nice, not bad. Oh, not resonator. Let's make these sound better. There we go, that sounds better. Might have to turn down the reverb once we actually get this going. So here, I want the drop. I kind of have the drop, so the drop melody, or rhythm, I'm gonna do the drum beat first, and then we're gonna side chain the chord, so it's gonna be like. Kind of how I would do it 150, but we're gonna do it half, half time in and uh, like drum step 174. Oh, it's being... So let's start with that. That's why I like to start with. And now I can kind of make my EDM synth part, not the build. I'll show you every layer that I use. We'll start with, um, we're gonna need a utility on this bad boy. We'll automate that later, but. Oh man, wait, where's my plugin for, I have to find the preset. There's this great Virtual Riot preset. So good. 
So good. So good. I had it. Boom, 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 boom. Oh, samples and stuff. Where did I put? Man, my stupid PC ain't set up. Hmm. What is. What's that one called that, like. You guys know what I'm talking about? It's like that one virtual. I always use it. I'm always like, oh, I use this every time. And now I, I can't even find it. Uh, damn, bro. It's like su su super. Serum. Oh, they're in there. All right, so I just got to load it up. Let's see. This is the best one for this this type of sound, guys. I'm just going to find it so you can so you can see. Dude, I got to shave my beard. It's like scruffy as balls right now. There we go. Virtual Riot presets, is it in? Wait, what? How do you go down? Base, oh no, that's not it. Lead synth, no. Dude, where is it? Probably in the first one. biggest saw stack oh yeah this is the one Woo, we found it all right we're back what the i look like the brother of nightmare and jake paul at the same time <laughs> that's i don't know how to how i feel about that do, do people find them attractive i probably i don't know nightmare is a good looking dude I just I don't love Jake Paul his attitude but it's all good I'll take the I'll take it I don't know if you guys are too young for this but I always get stiffler like people always think I look like stiffler oh this is my baby I love this preset this is the one all right so now let's make these chords All right, let's do this. We stacking this bad boy. Oh, I forgot. You have to turn on voices. Polyphony up here. Oh, what an amazing chord right there. So you got to turn your polyphony to 32 so you can literally play all these notes at once.
make this a little wider so it's easier. I'm self-taught. This is just my ear from years of like playing instruments and stuff, just like knowing those chords are gonna sound good together. But this this is really the key to making your stack sound huge, is the chord, go to the chord first and then start stack. Don't stack a million synths and think cause you're shitty chord progression, but you have a bunch of synths, it's gonna sound good. Start with one synth. If it sounds good in here, it's gonna sound good everywhere else, stacked up. So now that I have that, I'm gonna do another one, another one of my favorites, which is this silent one that I, it's also super simple that I made. Let's, let's get that baby. And then we'll do a drone. And then a sub bass, and then we'll do drums and, and we should have something super sick. I know you love it. All right, where's it at? Dude, my desktop sam sample present silence fire and super soft. There we go. And let's do a nice drone. Eh. No. Let me do you like the drone. I'm gonna paint you like one of my drone girls. Drone you like one of my EDM girls. Paint you like, I'm done. Okay. So that'll give us the Let's do a sub now. Do it to the kick, because I want to see it. Eh, we don't have to do it for this, actually. It'll be fine. We're going to be fine right here. Oh, you know what's a better sub than the normal one, too? The Virtual Riot sub is also fantastic. Oh, man, I can't open it. I got to... I gotta go look for those. Samples and presets, third party. All right, he'll, he'll be here. Here we are, our presets. Dedicated sub. I think it's in number two. Yep, that guy. Fantastic sub as well. The atmosphere, um, I'll show you a couple things. Most of the time it's like some chimes or like a cool pad and a top synth. And and I don't overdo it with the weird stuff unless I have to, but, but let's see.
so we got our main stuff going. Now let's side chain with our utility. Get a really nice. And let's see how these guys sound. So it sounds bad for a second. It'll sound good though. Let's make everything sound better. Ooh, what if the kick came to goon? Ooh, I like that actually. It's a little too extreme. Let's try this one out. Uh, yeah, so I use, I've showed you guys this before, but what I do is I use the gain right here, utility. Every single thing that you hear is being side-chained. What I, what I want to know is if I should do... Maybe I should go like full-on four to the floor like... Maybe I should go That's what I'm thinking now. I don't know. Let's see. Clap. Let's go. Let's try this. Go an idea. An idea. We're gonna take away some of this reverb too. It's just too much, too much. And let's go get a cool clap. I'm gonna change this round. Group, jungle, stadium. Let's try this right here. We're gonna try two claps. Eh, what did I just do, bro? What? Did I just change something? Am I crazy? No. Yeah, definitely gonna add an entire a bunch of stuff. Uh, what did I do? Go to full screen? Ew, bro. What is this? No, get me out of here. Help. How do I get... Dude, how do you get out of full screen on a PC? My goodness, bro. Oh my god. F11? Oh. Thank you so much. That's a cool trick. I actually didn't know that. 
<laughs> my, my PC skills is idiotic. <laughs> uh, I was like, what is going on? All right, so let's go to Splice. No, not you. Splice, baby. There's this really cool rhythm. Oh, what the balls. Oh, yeah, this bad boy. Give it to me. You are what I need. I think we're going to go more like Porter style on this. I think it's going to... And this we're going to mid-side... Or not mid-side, sorry. Haas effect. Also, I don't like this stupid reverb continuing. So we're going to freeze you. There we go. Let's add a nice crash to this. It's gonna sound crashy, a nice crashy. And we're gonna add one on the left, one on the right to make it feel like a real kind of drum set feeling, like you hit two cymbals at a time. Oh my God, I'm sorry. Oh shit. Oh man, I was excited to hear that. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. got to give it the straight got to give it a better better rhythm like this yeah yeah like that way better Wait, no, this should be. My new keyboard is so clicky. Do you guys hear like a tick, 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 like it's it's going crazy? My Mac was so quiet. The only happy thing is I'm I don't have any like I have a water cooled PC like. I ain't got no complaints. Sorry, I know the that's all you guys are here. <laughs> I don't know what to do. Uh, uh, hey, at this point, I'm just glad my stream is working on my PC. It took me forever. Listen to this. I'm gonna try and do it like slowly. Here we go, let's do this. Let's do this ASMR stuff.
<laughs> it's pretty fire, man. <laughs> Imagine putting that in the song. I didn't ditch the Mac. I just I wanted a separate. Uh, I wanted something separate for um for streaming at home since we're stuck here, bro. Like, what am I gonna do? Destroy my gosh darn forsaken um yeah keyboard shaker. I should honestly do that. I don't know. I just didn't want to ruin my Mac by overusing it, and I also wanted something that was better um, computer, not overheating. So, uh, dude, imagine an ASMR stage at a festival. Would you guys come see me? I'd be like, <laughs> nah, I DJ with USBs. I don't do any of that. All right, let's listen to this drop. That's pretty cool. I think that that rhythm, can we all agree that that rhythm is better? Like head banging. I think, I think that's a better move. All right. So next thing I want to do is add symbols, symbols. So let's try these guys. Let's add those bad boys in the drop. Let's see what this sounds like. Let's do a tom. Need like a tom fill in between here. Oh, I deleted them all. Oh my gosh. I'm an idiot, bro. Forgot I did that. Why didn't anybody stop my. Re <sighs> Here we go. There we go. Another thing I want to do is add guitar. So Let's go over these layers and see what sounds good. Um, I want to take out the symbols. Let's see, where's the guitar? Let's use the rhythm wide, this guy. So let's resample these into this resample. Where we're going to record first these two right here. Okay. We got that. Now let's get this lead really fast.
And now we're going to have these two on the drop. I think this should make the bridge between like rock and EDM feel cool. Now we have to make the chords match too. Now we got to make sure they all match. This is going to sound so cool. Dope. I like this. And now I want to do the last thing I'm going to do is like a lead and then we should be chilling. I don't like this to keep going. I think this should keep going. That's what should happen. Let's see what happens when this keeps going. Cause that might sound even better. Dude, if I was on my Mac, I would have to freeze all this stuff. I don't know, now that I, I really like this, this might become a song. I'm working on a lot of stuff like this, so let's see. Nice. Yeah, I can definitely show you the saws. Um, one second, dude. Check, check these out. Ew, without the side chain, it sounds like 0% EDM, bro. I don't know if I like that. My bad, bro. Send it to me again if it's like this. Um, so here's the super saws. Here's the little layers for those of you just joining. This is a preset from Virtual Riot. Biggest saw stack. I didn't do anything except uh, take off the reverb and delay. And then I use this silent one as well. It's basically just a less detuned. Um, if you would, it's, you could probably make like, look, if you don't have silent or you don't feel like doing that, you could do that one by just not detuning. Like, oh, I don't want to do it here. Cause he has it freaking. oh. See how now it sounds like this. It's just the detuning.
And then the drone is the same thing, the saw sin stack, but a different EQ. I want all this yummy mid bass area to stand out. And then just a sub. Awesome. And that's all the layers. Now let's add a lead. This is going to be fun. Let's try Omnisphere. It's been a while since I tried this out for like a lead at least. I, I don't. They're usually so crappy, but. Let's see. Actually, it could be cool. Hold up, hold up, hold up. God, I hate finding. Dude, how many freaking chorus echoes? God. All right. Layers. I think I might use this as an ARP. Not the lead yet. Oh, imagine, imagine I released a song like this. <laughs> oh my God. This is dope. It's like Stranger Things. Let's make another one with the same melody and we'll make this one on the left and this one on the right. Uh, this sounds nice. This is gonna sound awesome actually. I have one more lead and then I think I, I have it fully done, at least for now. Um, short, synth, mono, short, there we go. Uh, 
That's sick. Yes, there we go. I think that sounds cool. They sound so bad when it when it goes over. That's um Um I don't know, I'm kind of like mixing as I'm going. If you see, I'm very quickly turning it up and down. I know, I know it seems like I'm not mixing, but like I still do it super quickly, minor stuff just to be like, oh, it's loud enough. Like I'll just, you know, to put these down a little bit. Let's, let's freeze all these so my LFO tool on the chords maybe. Boom, 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 boom. Yeah, I could prob probably do that. Maybe on the second half of the drop, I might try that out. That'd be something cool. We gotta do this. That that kick doesn't sound that great. Hold on. said put put the kick on right sub on the left i'm i'll i'll raise you here here you go <laughs> are you guys ready for <laughs> i'm so afraid i'm so afraid of what that's gonna sound like the kick is gonna be in the right <laughs> I'm uncomfortable. So last time we're doing that, bro. Um, there's one more thing I want to do, guys. Um, let's see. Should be great for the clubs, right? I think I hear a a cool lead. Also, I always do this. I I love adding chimes. This shit sounds so good. This always sounds amazing. Let's also put Hoss effect on here. Check this out. Dope, dope, dope. All right, now I'm finally gonna add this little lead synth. Here's a cool one, it's called C64. Go to 
go to your local Serum 64-bit plugin. It's in Leeds. 60 something. I had it saved before, but now I, I don't know if I'm going to be able to see. Where are you, bro? Lead. Uh, wow. There it is. Oh, here's the problem. You got to do it without the utility. Let's put it over here. Is the ozone compressor still on the master? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I always do that. I left it on. So this is just kind of like a top note. <laughs> Stop OTTing my track, guys. God. Let's try something cool. Oh. See what that sounds like. Eh, I don't like it. Yeah, the only one I liked is the very beginning. Just the like turn tune up. Another cool thing is um Yeah, I can try that. I don't know if this one's gonna sound good low. Actually it might just be a good layer. How did I think about it? Let me do this instead.
Oh, that's cool. You know what else could be cool on this one? Last, 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 last thing is going to be this guy. It's on. Nice. All right, that sounds dope. Yeah, we can try a tape stop right now. Oh, that's so nice. Oh my goodness. That fills it in amazing. So I might add tape. Uh, I don't know what I'm gonna add tape sauce, but I think I might do it. So yeah, let's check this out. Oh, I, I saw a question that was like, "How would you transition?" Um, now that I'm done this, I can. I got you, bro. I didn't forget. So how I would transition is to go. I would do this. Something like this. I'd add like a sweep. And then I would just explode into the next part.
Let's use another um, impact. Ooh, that one's better. D Rock coming in clutch. So there, we would have our little transition into the next part. So let's go back. What was the question? Base slide's crazy, right? How many LUFs? Um. Uh, yeah. I should be. I'm gonna leave this one uploaded. I I'm gonna find a way. I didn't. I don't know if I recorded it. I'll. F I'll find a way to download this one for you guys. Let's see. I don't. Does Ozone Nine have LUFs? I don't remember. Yeah, that's that's normally what I would do is just leave this on and then I'll kind of pick and choose exactly what to use. Pick and choose exactly what to use. You might tell me what to do. I thought I had to do. Oh, I'm a rapper now, but I'm not a rapper. That's fire. All right, so we made a emo rock track. Let's check it out from the top. Tell me why, tell me now, tell me now, tell me now. No, no. Big day's work here. Obviously, I think when I uh, when I really do it, like finish this this joint, I'll probably um man my ears, bro. Wearing headphones that long is crazy. I appreciate you guys. I love it. I'm I'm a fan of this of my own work at this point. I really think um yeah the drop will be longer. Probably write lyrics, um, vocals, which maybe I'll sneak peek you. I don't know yet. We gotta see if I'm gonna release it or not kind of want to keep some of it a secret we'll see but um yeah I, i'd obviously extend stuff i think the build is perfect and uh, dude i would love to work with jared leto don't even don't tempt me like that um yeah this this stuff is so much fun to, to work on it's like it's really inspiring for me because i love this style of music but uh so next time i think what i might do is go back to some more og like trap stuff and i might make a like uh a drop kind of like um breathe out courtesy for um damn what was her name from sweden no 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 no, no. this girl on uh, this girl online was asking about it amanda amanda i got you we'll, we'll we'll do something like that and until then i'm continue working on this sample pack also super dope so let me show you guys really quickly let's see well let me